thinking of doing your HGV license or you've just passed your HGV license not sure on driver's hours not sure on working time not sure how you've hitch up to a trailer not sure how you strap a load then why not check out the new essential truckers handbook crack a little book jam packed with information lots and lots of information on it nice handy size to carry around I keep it in my shelf up the top there so if I need it I'll just refer to it it's got so much information in it guys uh, link will be in the description take a look check it out enjoy it enjoy the video guys I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how real love should feel Knowing that it's not just you I was made to be free I am made to be free everyone is well you are joining me on Thursday morning for a change <laughs> normally a Thursday isn't it? Uh, I am on my way to Hayes I'm on the M4 um, just about to pass uh, memory services I've uh, been on the road since uh, just after six o'clock this morning well I started at six I think I left the yard about 20 past six I got a three dropper on uh, you've been with there with me before, but uh, I haven't recorded anything this week, so I thought I'll just put a quick recording together. Uh, just you see me going to my gun uh, Hayes, which you've been to with, been with me before. Um, then over to Walton, and then across to Horsham. So uh, yeah, got a few miles to put under the belt today. Uh, it's the week after Truck Fest, and what a weekend it was! Now. I haven't recorded anything from Truck Fest because I know the other guys are doing it and you don't want to see too many of the uh, the videos of Truck Fest do you? and uh, not many of you watch it anyway so I thought no I'm not going to record anything over the weekend um, but it was a fabulous weekend um, uh, myself, Luke, Jay, Kev and Scott uh, we all got there on the Friday had the Friday off, uh, Claire had the Friday off uh, she came with us, uh, took a lorry, and uh, if you uh, follow me on social media, uh, you will have seen on Facebook and Instagram a little video that uh, Mr. Kev T put together for us. Well, not put together, but just recorded us leaving. So uh, if you haven't seen it yet, go and have a look on my uh, my Facebook and Instagram at Trucker Jenko, um, and you'll see a little, just a little video of us pulling away from the. Uh, from the showground on Monday. Uh, yeah, we had a brilliant weekend. Claire thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, she got fully involved. Quite a few people came to see Claire as well, asking where she was and having a chat with her. And yeah, it was really good. She got really involved with it, uh, which is really, really good. So, 
brilliant weekend. Fabulous weekend was had. Uh, we were also joined by uh, Sam Kay, uh, trucking Will, it's the high up life, uh, and Daz the trucker. Um, well, fifth part of fifth wheel, I think his fifth wheel is uh, his channel's called. I think it's a collaboration between um, Daz, uh, trucking Will, high up life, and a couple of others, I think. So yeah. So all in all, we had a we had a very good uh, weekend. It was nice to meet everyone that came to see us. So if you did come to see us, um, thank you very much. Uh, it was uh, good to meet you all. Nice having a chat with you. And uh, I also raised another 135 pound uh, for the charity, which is really good. Um, but a few donations as well. So uh, I will be reading them out a bit later on. I think we're up to 3,000, I think Claire had a look last night, 3,560 something. So, uh, with the 135, that will be nearly 3,700 pound. Wow. Uh, Dragon drops this weekend. Uh, and my hands are really, really sore this week as well. So, uh, yeah. I'll do my injection uh, when I get home tomorrow and hopefully everything will calm down. But I am really sore at the moment, but I'm still going to do it. Uh, it's for the charity, uh, I will do my best with it. So I'm not, uh, not any spring chicken anymore, 52 years of age. So it's my speech toy and I'm doing 56. It's fine. Um, yeah, 52 years of age and I'm going to throw myself down a, an 80 foot crag. <laughs> But yeah, that's this Sunday. Uh, I do believe I'm doing it about 9.15. I'm going to do my very best to record it. Uh, how I'm going to do it yet, I don't know. But uh, I'm probably going to get there a little bit earlier, have a word with the uh, the guys that are organising it. Claire's coming with as well, so she can do some recording from maybe from down the bottom. Um, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. But I will try and see if I can get some sort of recording. Um, five, ten minutes worth of video or whatever else. Um, so yeah, we'll, fingers crossed, I'll get something together for you guys to, uh, to, to see us doing. Uh, but yeah, nearly £3,700, amazing, absolutely superb, very, very much appreciated. And uh, everyone that, uh, that donated on the weekend and came up and said this is for the drag and drop, thank you very much guys. I will be putting that in now on Friday when I get home, I have the money safe in my wallet and uh, when I get home then I'll... Uh, I will pay it into my bank and uh, and then I will transfer it over and I will put the few people that uh, have given, sent me their, their names and everything so if you've sent me a name uh, then I will put it on the uh, the GoFundMe page uh, so yeah really really good thank you guys uh, this week what have I done this week right Monday when we finished at Truck Fest we finished about uh, half past five um, left there picked our trailers up because Claire and I took loaded trailers there put, put that in the uh, the trailer park and we headed up to Scotland I went to Paisley uh, Claire went to Perth uh, and then from Paisley I went across to Garvin uh, well down to Garvin loaded there for Tredega um, but uh, when you go down to Garvin unfortunately the only way back is back north so you've got to go back north to come back down south there's no other way for an Arctic to go. So uh, that was a bit of a pain, so that added about an hour to my journey. Um, sorry, I keep rubbing my eyes. It feels like there's something in there. Um, so yeah, and then um, did a local one into Newport yesterday when I got back. Um, Claire did some local stuff. Claire's doing uh, what they call the milk run this morning. She's picking up at Clenetley. Swansea and Kumpelingbach to go into Honda and uh, as I say I've got the three dropper for uh, Hayes, Alton and Horsham so yeah so that's this week so far um, is there anything else? don't think so yeah, I think I've waffled on long enough for the intro anyway uh, so yeah let's get going I say let's get going, I'm already on my way, so let's crack on, get the haze, 
and I'll see you just before I get there. See you in a bit. Toodles. Hello, welcome back. Join me uh, about an hour and a half later. I am five minutes away from Hayes. Uh, obviously, you've seen this road before. And uh, Ash, if you're watching, I know, I know. <laughs> but it's the way I know. Ash has, uh, has watched a few of my videos. If, you, uh, if you're not sure who Ash is, he's a colleague of mine, uh, drives here at Ferryman. And he's got an Instagram, Ash the Trucker. I think it's Ash underscore the underscore trucker. Um, go and give him a follow on Instagram and uh, Facebook. Ash, um, oh, I don't know, you can Ash the Trucker on, Instagram, on Facebook, actually. Thinking about it. Ash, start yourself a page up. Ash the Trucker on Facebook. Start your separate page up, mate. Let's get you some followers. <laughs> but he's on Instagram. Go and check him out. Uh, he always posts up on Instagram of what he's doing. Um, but uh, yeah, he was telling me, I think it was last week, why do I, why do I come in this way? There's a far easier way rather than me having to take these uh, left-handers and whatever. But it's the way I know, it's the way I'm used to, so about the devil you know, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Sorry, Ash. <laughs> ah, dear. Um, so, yeah. And uh, quite possibly as well, uh, another one of my mates might be uh, coming to work for us. Uh, I've got to speak to him later on. Uh, I've spoken to uh, Richard. Uh, so we just have to wait and see now on what happens with that. Uh, I know Dave watches a few of my videos. I know he started to watch a couple to see uh, where we go and whatever. Um, so Dave, if you are watching this, fingers crossed for you, buddy. There we go, and we're around. See, I'm just used to this way now, so it's the way I know. Uh, three minutes away, so just follow this road round now, down to the roundabout, turn right and right again where there's always a car parked. But saying that, the time before last, I don't think there was a car. Well, it might have been the last video I did actually, there wasn't a car parked there, which does make the right hand turn a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, apparently, if I go in, uh, I think it's when I come off at junction three. Um, if I go right on the first roundabout, it brings me in round the other side. Apparently it'll bring me in, so I turn right into the compound, into build base where we deliver. Um, but I'm used to this way, so. Stick with what I know. <coughs> and I've made up quite a bit of time. Uh, said when I left the ads when I get the 9.43, uh, now it says 9.25. Was down to 9.21, but I got a little bit of traffic before coming off of Junction 3. So that delayed me a couple of minutes, but apart from that, all's good. In the 20 zone now. I think that's because there's a school by there. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, then right so you've got about half of what I've got on is for build base um, and then I've got a couple of stacks I think then for Alton London lintels and then uh, I got one stack for Horsham Yep, and there's a car parked there again. Turn right, then you have reached your destination. It's about if those um, islands weren't on the right there, in the middle of the road. Take it nice and wide. Bring it back on myself. Job done. That's got to be about the most awkward bit, that one there, when there's a car parked there. It's always afraid the uh, <coughs> the bump frame on the back 
of the trailer is going to catch the cat and bring the cat with me. But uh, so far, so good. Wait for these temporary lights now. That does look a little bit tight going through there, mind. I have to be honest. <clears throat> and my beeper's gonna go off, I should imagine, getting close to those cones on the left. It's been behaving itself lately, I gotta be honest. Oh, look. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. moving it Ooh. Ah, scratchy scratchy that's gonna leave a mark no <sighs> but that's left a scratch Oh. Have a look in a minute. There we go. The gates always used to be shut on this, but they always seem to be open now. No way. Used to be like a security guard there. Alright, so anyone down the bottom, let's have a butchers. Nope, oh, no one down there. Happy days. Straight in, get them done. Got one of their build based ones there. Biddy by yep. Cab. Like that. Might see him now when I uh, reverse back a little bit. Turn my cap because of those uh, that black thing by there and the cement circly thing, <laughs> whatever that is. There we go, job done. <coughs> Put in. Let's get this lot off. Be good a bit. Toodles.
Right, done. Kind of forklift, good as gold here. Don't know his name, unfortunately, but uh, ooh, itch. Uh, good as gold here, bless him. Uh, it doesn't take long at all. I uh, got here at uh, 9.25. It's now, it's time now. Uh, 10 o'clock, so I've been to 35 minutes, and that includes unstrapping and everything else. So it's been a good one. All right, I've now got hour and 45 down to Alton. So I'm going to get there for quarter to 12. Uh, I'm going to need a break on the way down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Microphone there, make sure that's up. Up there, so you can hear me properly. Sorry, that's probably a bit noisy. To apologise. Right. Once well, open, my lights are still on. Hang a second. I think my other door's open. Lights are off now. Yeah, that don't want to close properly. Right. Get the belt back on. I'm gonna go left out of the gate now. I'm not gonna go right again. Didn't leave a mark, thank goodness. Did check it. There we go, get that set right. So as you saw, about half the load now. And I've got three stacks now for London Lintels and then one stack for Horsham. I can get out left because I have done it before. Nice and wide. There we go when we're out. I think the sat-nav is actually taking me out the way that Ash has said to come in, so... Because I'm got to go up the M25 now, around the M3 and straight down the M3. So I'll stop on the services on the M3 now for a break. So I've got three hours and three minutes on the clock now. That's how long it's taken me to get to here from the yard. that at six so yeah it's well within my working time space as well because obviously if you're driving if you haven't reached your four and a half hours driving time within your first six hours working time then you have to have a 15 minute break for your working time so Wider. Should I clear that bit there? And I have. Job done. I don't think I've been this way before. I don't recognize it anyway, put it that way. Take the third exit. 
Cool, but... This will probably take me up to the next junction. Hello, my darling. Hello. You okay? I'm recording, okay? Just left London, I've uh, London Little, so just left uh, Bill Base. Oh, right. so you've done your first one, right? First one's done, yep. How are you getting on? Oh, cool. Well, I had an amazing one there just now. Yeah? I went in, they were on brakes, so I had a bit of um, chatter with a foreign guy that couldn't speak a word of English, I had to tell them that they were on brakes, so I had to use sign language. All right. Which was okay, so I got this. Um, and then my friend on his whole clip came out and he said, uh, couldn't, couldn't, uh, with me. Uh, yeah. No down the <laughs> right, well the sat nav has just tried taking me down somewhere. It's got no weight limit on it, but it says unsuitable for heavy goods vehicles. So don't go don't go down there. Don't go down. I'm gonna go out the way I know. So I've had to turn around on the roundabout. Look luckily it's literally just outside. But it just said on there now unsuitable for heavy goods, so I've done a complete U-turn on the roundabout and uh, heading back out the way I know. That's the way. But you don't want to do an easier when it ends up in a crematorium that you've got to turn around in. No, dead. That's a, that's yeah. No, you don't want to be doing that. <laughs> yeah, no. dead unlucky on that one, weren't you? I was very unlucky. Yeah, that went straight over your head, then, didn't it? Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and it's trying to turn me back oh, round around. I saw you now. Yeah, dead. Ah. Oh, penny has dropped. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, the penny has dropped. <laughs> oh. It takes a while sometimes, but I do get it now and again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to turn me back round to the next roundabout and go back again. Uh, nope, if it's unsuitable for heavy goods, I ain't going that way. So it's going to take me back out the way I came in now. <laughs> I think Tom Tom should have something on this system. Just because it's not a seven and a half ton weight limit, if it is marked yeah. up as unsuitable for heavy goods, I think they should put that in the system as well. You know? It may not be a weight limit, but it's unsuitable for heavy goods. So <clears throat> surely that should be the same as a, a weight limit, I would have thought. I thought, I think so too. But there we go. Maybe you should mention it if you Yeah, maybe I should. Yeah, so where are you now, love? I'm on my way back to um, Blackwood area. We'll get to the next one. What, are you on the heads of the valleys now, or? No, I'm still on the M4. Still on the M4, are you? Yeah. Nah, so you're going to come valley back for your last collection? Yeah, and then up to Swindon. Up to Honda Swindon. <laughs> Happy, happy days. Yeah. It's a lovely cup of coffee by the way that you make me this morning. You're very welcome, sweetheart. Makes a change me making you one, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It certainly does. <laughs> but it's saying you hold on now because you make me another one after you. Uh, I'm picking up on the way past. Yeah, but you're not going past, you. I'm going to be the complete different direction now. Oh. Going down to Walton now, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going down to Walton, so. Yeah. You're not gonna see me, love. Oh, my yeah. Well, hopefully, now it'll only be a, a couple for you on the next one, a couple of pallets, and you'll be on your way then. But that one was only two pallets, pallets, but they were stacked on top of each other, so it was just like one, really. Yeah. And. Um, and I only had like nine months for that. Oh, that's unusual. Like for, that's unusual for Toyota. You normally get a, you know, quite a few from there. Yeah. I'm getting it at all today. The next one I think I'm going to pick up. So, again. Didn't get a word of that then. Love you breaking up. Uh, it's one at the next one. One at the next one, is it? Yeah. Ah, nice easy load then. Yeah. Job done. Happy, happy days. 
Thank you. Right then, guys, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to get down to Alton, and I will probably speak to you just before I get there. Fun and games getting into there. See you in a bit. Toodles. Hello, guys. Right. <laughs> might be getting a little bit of deja vu here now. Uh, you might think he's been down that road before. That's because I have. Um, <laughs> got to be second drop. No problems at all. Got down, a, down the M3, 331, 831. Straight into Alden. Oh, great. Straight. Got a, all the gear straight off me. Just starting to do the curtains up. And the guy in a forklift comes out and starts to go to put a great big huge long beam lintel back on. I said, what are you doing? He says, not for us drive. I said, what do you mean? So he looked at it. Or he showed me it. <sighs> they only put one beam for haze on the front pallet, on the front pack. Now bearing in mind that another two packs behind that for Alton, and I had then the four packs then that came off, or five packs that came off for Hayes. <sighs> so I've had to come all the way back up to Hayes now, and drop this one pack, this one lintel off, and then I gotta go down to Horsham, if I can get it off today. Bit of a nightmare. What is it, babe? Nightmare. Nightmare. Yes, Claire's on the You're phone. You're I'm not an empty. Yes, you are. How am I in them? Because you should check, check, and check again. Who told you that? You. Oh, okay then. But you wouldn't think there'd be a beam on the very front pack for everything that's on the back. You, know, you wouldn't expect that. So. But yeah, I should. She's right. Claire is right. I should have double checked and checked. But because. And checked again. And checked again, yes. And because all the packs are on the back, I pulled the curtain forward towards the front of the vehicle, as you saw on the time lapse. Hang on, mate. So, obviously, couldn't see any of the front packs. But as I said, wouldn't expect to have one lintel for the first drop on top of the second drop that's been put right on the front. So, ah, there we go. Never mind, it's happened now. Um, I can still get the Horsham. Should be able to still get it off. It's about two hours from here. Uh, so I should get there for hopefully about half past three, quarter to four. I think they're there till five, so. We will have to wait and see. And Daphne Huffers was a little bit panicky because he thought I'd already done the third drop and I was down the north, uh, down the south coast, thinking I'd have to come all the way back up here because I saw a little back load out for me from down there. I said, no, I'm done my third one yet. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back up the haze because I gotta go up onto 25 anyway to turn to go right on the anti-clockwise to go to 23. So it's not too much out of my way really. But it's gonna put me out by about I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour, I suppose. But I should be sort of halfway to Horsham by now. And got there for about two o'clock, but... Oof! Hey-ho! So, we're going into Hayes again. Only a couple of minutes away now. Mobile camera. Is there a mobile camera? We will have to wait and see. It says it's around here somewhere, but I can't see any mobile camera. Oh, with any luck now, that car's gone that's parked on the left. Yes, it has, which will make, no, it hasn't, it's still there. Ah! It's a shame. I know that van was going to do that. Right. Nice and 
wide. Bring it round. There we go, and we're round. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Ah, flipping road works. That looks a bit wider this time, and it's not by the trees, so it's okay. It's on the other side of the road. Happy days. Hey, when I came in earlier on, love, I get the road work bit by year when I'm waiting now. Traffic lights. It was uh, to the right, and yeah. there's all the trees and all scraping down the side of the truck. Oh, dear. It didn't. Try and do it that with you. Yeah, it didn't mark it, though, so I'm okay. It's all good. It's all good. After all that polishing I did on your truck, see? All the polishing you did on my truck? Well, the front bit, you mean? On the side. You did the sides as well, yeah. did you? Yes, them. And I did the steps because they were broken. Yeah. And inside your doors. Oh, here we go. <sighs> I did not your track for the weekend. No, I made him okay. Right. Cheers, buddy. That is tight, as you can tell. The side thing's screaming at me. <sighs> yes, but what, what did I do to your truck? You did my tank for me. Yeah, and your exhaust guard and all your metal work. Hang on, little violin. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> I can't even use it anymore. Yeah, 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 whatever. Oh, I got a van pack uh, right and, banging him in. And I keep, and I keep inside the truck because that was bogging. Yeah, why was it bogging? Um, because you hadn't cleaned it. No, 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 why was it bogging? Because you had cleaned it. No, 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 no. Why was it bogging? It wasn't bogging because I put one foot on your carpet and that was just, you know, anyway. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yes. <sighs> right. Let's see if there's anyone down the bottom. No, I should be able to do a spinny again then. Spinny, spinny. Spinny, spinny. He look at me daft now when he sees me. If I can find him. I can't see him anywhere. I'm gonna have to go find him somewhere. We have the traffic on the end. Oh, they surprise him. And funny enough, I did say something about having one left on it. A couple of, um, well, I think it was the first, very first drop I ever did here. And uh, they did the same thing to me then. I was telling the forklift driver about it. And now I'm turning up with the same thing. Oh dear. It's okay though. Here he comes. What was I saying to you earlier? I told her upstairs. I checked it off, and as I'm checking it off, I see what was missing. I literally just told me today about it. he's done it before. Yeah, just the one, isn't it? The one on the top. Yeah. yeah. They put it right on the top of my second drop at the front. As soon as I saw that, well, you don't literally just told me this. Yeah. About your first time. First time I came here, and they've done it to me again. Crazy. I'll get it off now. I said I couldn't tell until I checked it to know if you yeah. had anything off. No, yeah, I know. But then I, I've got to come back up here, now I've got to get down to Horsham as well. You're going to do a video of this one, like, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, re I'm recording now. <laughs> Lovely, cheers, mate. Right, I'm here. I gotta get it off now. I will catch you guys in a bit. Toodles. Trying to make up your mind like you need more. 
time You've already spent most of mine itself on motorways now it's not going off willy-nilly all the time which is a good thing yeah still not sure what my back load is why is he going on the other oh, right okay why you going completely over the other side of the road then huh? no, no need for it but there we are green light go 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 oh he's turning right there perhaps he thought he could straight down. I don't know. Well Claire's uh, at Honda now, she's tipping as we speak. Shouldn't take long, she haven't got a lot on there. Market 300 yards across the roundabout and uh, take the second exit. Quite sure what I just said but I still don't know what my backload is yet. I know they were looking for something uh, from down this way to go back up. If it's the port, Cross it's going to be a short day for me. Because <laughs> uh, time I get down to the port now, they uh, they won't be loaded till the morning.
advert looking for class one drivers. Roundabout um, So hopefully I've got one for my mate Dave. Um, they are recruiting at the moment. So if you're interested and you're in the South Wales area, then uh, head over to the website and uh, have a look online. Go around the roundabout and take the fifth exit. And uh, why am I going to go all the way around now? What have I done yet? I've done something wrong here. Probably come off the wrong junction. On the round the boat. at the moment for class one drivers so if you're interested and you're in the South Wales area pop over to uh, Ferryman website and uh, fill in a form go right on the roundabout and take or the you can uh, email uh, Richard Morris at ferryman.org Send your CV into that. Sorry, I know I'm a bit uh, bit here at the moment. I'm just uh, concentrating. See what's going where. Busy, but you're up. Way to go. Right, got a red light by there now. Brilliant. Stopping the traffic for me so I can go straight across. Lavalie, a javelin.
do got to go to the docks tonight and uh, packed up early. Give me a chance to use my new toy. Well, the same toy. Or the new uh, polishing machine on oh, metalwork. Yeah, it's on the truck fest. And take the second exit. Oh, I'll deal on that as well. Then you have reached your destination. But we'll uh, see what that uh, is like. Then, so it looks good. Uh, don't think they shut cross the five. Roundabout and take the second exit. It's uh, just coming up at three o'clock now, so <laughs> should be all good. Saying something. Let's have a look now. All right, let's see if I can get this off. I'll catch you in a bit. Doodles. Greetings and salutations. Uh, it's now Friday. Angela last spoke to yesterday when I was leaving Hayes. Can't remember now. Slept since then. Uh, yeah, Hayes for the second time. Um, Got down to Horsham yesterday afternoon, uh, got down at uh, three o'clock, tipped out no problem whatsoever, and uh, come back empty. Nothing to come back, so I told the to run back. I got as far as Membry last night, because by the time I tipped out in Horsham, I had just over seven hours driving. So I went into a 10 yesterday, did nine hours and 40 driving, actual drive time, pulled up into Membry, was hoping to get the Lee Delamere but didn't have the time to do it and uh, cracked on this morning dropped the trailer down at Etex as I don't know whether I mentioned it yesterday but we're back on the Etex work into London um, so I dropped an empty trailer down there this morning uh, popped over to um, Yate uh, do something for the office and then uh, back to the yard and now I'm on my way up to Sagafi and Tradiga. Um, going up through Hollybush. A little bit quicker going this way. It's a bit narrow in places. Uh, but it's a lot quicker than going down through Westwood and then up to 470 and around the 465 that way. This is uh, a straightforward route. Uh, as I say, it, it does get a little bit narrow in places, but it's not too bad. Um, just been informed as well by Matt that uh, there's only two of us doing the drag and drop now on Saturday. Um, I know Claire said that she would do it if we couldn't find anyone, but she hasn't done a medical, so she's not able to do it. At least I don't think she is anyway. I will inquire. Um, but she's coming sat uh, Sunday anyway, uh, so hopefully she's going to record myself and Matt doing the, uh, the drag and drop. At least there's two of us doing it because Scott, the third person that was doing it, he's now leaving. 
He's finishing today, it's his last day. Um, he has some uh, family issues and he's unable to do any tramping anymore. Um, so uh, he's hoping to come back, maybe six, 12 months time. Um, but uh, yeah, just like to see him go. He's a good lad, Scott, gotta be fair. Uh, so yeah, there's only two of us. So, something different. I was hoping there's gonna be four of us, but there we go. Things change. Uh, yeah, so right, up in Segefi, I'm basically um, just doing a drop and swap. So we've got a loaded trailer up there. Uh, I'm gonna drop this empty onto a bay and then pick up the loaded one to come back. Uh, so I might go through the uh, reverse onto a bay, uncoupling, recoupling, back up, that sort of thing. See if I can do something like that, I don't know. We will have a look when I get up there, see how busy it is. Uh, sometimes there's trucks everywhere in there, so. It's not the best of yards to, uh, to do a drop and swap if it's busy, but if there's no one there, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, so that's the update so far. Um, I possibly could have got back last night if I didn't have to go to Hayes for the second time. Uh, so, is what it is, isn't it? Is what it is. Uh, just seen Claire at the yard as well. She's just pulled in. She's uh, come back from Port Talbot. She did a local one this morning. She got home again last night. Uh, she only does a couple of nights out a week. She doesn't do many. Um, let's see what she done. She done two this week. Gets a little bit narrow by you. So just got to watch yourself, especially when you got seven and a half tonners coming the other way like that. There's a turn just up by here. Claire keeps telling me every time you go past you, buses go up there. How the Yak buses go up there, I'll never know, but they do. Oh, have I passed that turning? I may have passed it actually. Might have been a bit further back there. Very narrow road going up a hill. And buses go up there. Mm. Rather than the me. Now, as you can see now, it's uh, the hedges sticking out. Yes, I know. I'm they're close to the hedges, I know. To be careful around these bends now. I don't want to pile into the, the hedge on the left. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Yes. <sighs> At least it's working properly. That's one thing. It's not going off just willy nilly anymore. It's one good thing. I'm going up the motorway at 56 mile an hour and it's just going off constantly. It's going off because it's picking the hedgerow up. See it right next to it. And it'll be going off constantly now when I stop at these lights. I think I'll stop a little bit further back and then it won't go off. So if I park next to those hedges, it'll go off. That's better. Silence is golden. Ah, up here we go. This is going to be eh, not too bad, I think. Probably be a like went through here. Just got to watch the right side on the trees on this side. Watch the cones. It's all good in the hood. And was clear! There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, get a break from it now, it clears up a little bit up here. And of course it picks up the grass. Road's a little bit wider up here now. It's coming up to Blina. Not far from Tradiga now. A couple of Mercedes trees up on the hill there. It's 
So it's not too bad a run up here. It does save about 25 minutes coming this way. It's come from Blackwood straight up. Straight up into Ziga. Ziga. Easy for me to say. Um, just pick up the heads of the Valleys Road then, go down one junction and then come off then for uh, the industrial estate that Sugefi is on. Play my sheep, my sheep out of field. <laughs> uh, yeah, Claire's right, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Uh, what, I've, what else I got to do for the rest of the day, I do not know. Um, but talking to the drag and drop, as I was earlier on, um, I haven't had a look yet, but I know there's more on there. So if you have uh, donated and you've left a message, I will be reading that out very shortly. I'll probably do that when I'm up here at Segefi. Do the trailer change over, and then I will. Uh, have a look at the drag and drop. And I've got to put the uh, 135 in that I raised on the weekend at Truck Fest. Again, everyone that came over to me and said hello and uh, gave me some money for the drag and drop, thank you very much. It is very much appreciated. A couple of you have sent me messages uh, to just let me know your names and everything. Uh, I think there was two of you that have, uh, have actually messaged me, so if I can, if I can find the messages, um, I will put your names up on the uh, Just Giving page. And one day I might have a, do a sentence without going um or uh. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, dropping down into Tridiga. I can't say that word this morning. I cannot say it. Tridiga. There we are. Tridiga. Put my teeth back in. narrow bit by here I think if I remember no I said come up the roundabouts now so we're not too far away now yeah, I don't know what Claire's doing now but as I say I just seen her coming into the yard as I was just about to pick the trailer up said hello as you do and uh, yeah she's going around to find out what else she's doing now she's got an empty trailer on from Port Talbot so I don't know where she's going with she's going uh, down to Camp to load something for Monday or up to Thermo or who knows I'm just got to be honest I'm surprised she hasn't run yet so let me know what she's doing Tradiga. Uh, a few roundabouts now and then hook up onto the 465 the heads of the valleys road and this is out Rob Morris tippers that's where Russell Worthing works uh, yeah it's just on the road from ours actually met Russell uh, a couple of weeks ago down at uh, down at Daff he's uh, just picking his truck up from service or putting it in one of the two uh, Claire and I had a chat outside there with him. Nice guy. If you, uh, if you haven't watched any of Russell's vlogs, fellow Welshman, Russell Worthing, go and give him a, uh, a watch and a subscribe. He's a top bloke. Very good sense of humour. And he does some good vlogs. He does uh, a bit of low loading work. So uh, all the heavy plant machinery and uh, also a bit of uh, 
tip of work at the quarries. So it's a bit varied. Go and check him out, Russell Worthing. Top look. And if you do go check him out, tell him I sent you. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm going to crack on now. I'm going to get here. It'll be about 10 minutes. Uh, before I get there now. And I'll, uh, I'll come back to you, because once I pull in, I'm going to go and see the guy in the office, find out which bay he wants this on, and then uh, which one I'm picking up. So uh, I will come back to you just before I, uh, I put this on the bay. So I'll speak to you in a second. Or two. Toodles. Okay. I am... Uh, Clear. Thank you. Here we go. Right, dropping this one off onto bay three. Put the camera up on the top. Excuse the beeping, it'll go off now when I start reversing. So you got me seat belt on. Oh, 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 oh. Gets me every time those speed bumps. So I'm gonna go on the three. Just that one there. As I say to the missus, when she started reversing, setup is everything. Get your trailer at the right angle, or your unit at the angle, you can go straight back without turning anything. And it'll start turning on its own. And if it's going too much, just bring it back, like so. And I gotta go and open the back doors before I get next to those crates. So. Stop by there. Should have opened the back door before I moved freely, but anyway. two ticks. Get me gloves. Yeah, so the trailer's gonna be really tight up against these. Right. Open the one door. The second. Door number. Da 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 di da 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 da. La da 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 Into reverse. Be very tight to that crate. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. You do everything slowly. You got every chance then of correcting if you need to. Do it too fast, and you're stuffed. All right, I need to come over a little bit. I'm on the line that should be inside the line. And there's me think I was gonna do it in one then. Silly me. Uh, that's about that. Little movements. Oh, 
this way a bit. Sorted. Right. Now, which camera do I take with me? Hmm. Let's take you. Uh, uh, uh. So I'll probably. Yeah. Woohoo. So as you can see at the moment now, that's the receiver. So I'm gonna have to put the receiver somewhere so it doesn't fall over the place. There we are. All right. Neutral handbrake. engine off okay so we will he's lay down by you uh, there we are on me gloves okay all right so when you're uncoupling and I'm probably teaching a lot of you to suck eggs but it always helps people don't know then I'm teaching someone something. When you're uncoupling, always use black as a guide. Let's put you under the trailer. Uh, you can put you there, might see me, I don't know. It's getting heavy with that on there. Right, put you in the middle then. How's that? You see me? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, yes, use black. Which is brakes, legs, there you are, hello. Uh, brakes, legs, airline, clip, kingpin. And then obviously when you're reversing it, you do black backwards. So, brake. Wind the legs down. Probably a bit noisy, sorry. Ooh, and because it's empty, uh, let's pick it up there. And because it's empty, I haven't raised it at all. Now, what I tend to do, let's put you down by there a minute. Oops, sorry, there we are. How's that? Yeah, you can see me now, yeah. Whew, out of breath, I am not fit. I'm gonna do a drag and drop. <sighs> right, what I tend to do when it's heavy, if you've got a heavy load on, Lift the trailer up a little bit, then put the legs down. So then when you pull out, you can drop, but it's not gonna drop far enough for the trailer to come down and hit the back of your unit. Which happens, if it's heavy, it will bounce. So if you bring it out slowly, come to three quarters of the way out maybe, so it's just on your fifth wheel, drop the suspension down so you're nice and clear, and you can just pull out without the actual trailer dropping right down. That's what I do anyway. Uh, Let's put you by there. I don't know whether it's going to stay there. Hope so. Mm. Right. Fingers crossed it'll stay there. Uh, you get the gist of it anyway if you can't see me. So, airlines. So get the electricals off. I always do it in a certain way. Get the electricals off. Airline. <laughs> ABS. Emergency airline, all done. So you jump off then. <laughs> I won't pull my uh, fairing back yet because I'm pointless because I've got to reopen it again to hitch back up. And look at that. How shiny sparkly that is. Still lovely and clean from the show. And that's after a week of use from after the show. Yes, lovely jabbly. Just got to do the rest of the catwalk now. Right, put you by there. And if I turn you around, you might be able to see me by there then. Or oh, actually, if I take you under. Right, so obviously you got done the brakes. Oop. Done the brakes, done the airline. Now, uh, I've done the brakes, done the legs, done the airlines. Now you got to do the clip. Now the clip 
is a little sewer clip, uh, where you can see it, I think you'll be able to see it there. Just a little sewer clip there, that just makes sure that the fifth wheel arm doesn't come out. So you do that one, and then you're free. Job done! And then you're just ready to pull out then. As I say, what I do, as the way I've taught Claire to do it as well, is, uh, let's put you by there. Oops, sorry, gloves covering you. <laughs> there we are, let's open that up. Bit more there. Bit middle, eh? Eh? Bit more light. Mind you, I need more there. <laughs> Blimey. Um, yeah, what I've taught Claire to do as well is when you pull out, pull out to a certain distance without coming off the fifth wheel, drop the air down on the back of the unit and that'll clear the unit then from the fifth wheel so when you come right out then it doesn't actually drop straight down. Um, I've always done it that way and that way you're not slamming anything down onto the top of the wheel hubs over the, you know, the exhaust, the exhaust, uh, the mud guards or anything like that, so you're not damaging anything. And if it's heavy, just raise it, put the legs down, come out slowly, drop the air, and then you'll, you'll, you'll feel it, because it'll, if it's heavy, it'll be very, very slow to come out, you'll feel the weight on it, but then when you clear, it just nice and easy comes out, clear the trailer, trailer hasn't dropped onto the back of the unit, job done. So, that's uncoupling, coupling, I'm not gonna show you that as well, uh, coupling up is just the same, opposite way around. Hitch up to it, what I tend to do is bring the trailer down, go under it so far, lift it, lift the trailer off the, off the ground, so your legs are clear. If your legs are clear, you're not gonna twist them if you're not completely straight. Lift it up, under you go, couple up, airlines, legs, brakes, job done. Simple as that, really. Um, yeah, so I hope that's helped, if uh, any of you are, were a bit unsure. Uh, I know I've done it a couple of times, but you know, it's always good to do it again, isn't it? But that's the way you do it. Right, let's get unclipped from this one. Ooh, I've still got the side camera going. So I will uh, ooh, put the side camera back up now while I'm doing this. Put you back on the screen. And I'll show you what I mean now. You might be able to see with the side camera. Ooh. Right, so, a little magic black box. The wheel's straight. I think they're straight now, yep. So what I tend to do, black box in hand, pull out. Like so. Yes, so far I can still feel the weight of the trailer on the back. Drop it down. You can see the trailer dropping and now it stopped dropping but the unit is still moving look so if I just take my foot off the brake now we'll just roll forward freely because we're clear of the trailer and it doesn't drop down simple as that nice and easy now, let me draw <laughs> ah, I've left my number plate on the back oh. I should be able to crawl under and get it. <laughs> I'm not recording that. <laughs> oh, I've left my number plate on the back of the trailer. Uh. Right, so hitching back up. I'll show you what I mean by what I do when I hitch up. Um, bearing in mind now this one is loaded that I'm collecting. lined up with it. So, lined up. Drop the suspension down. There we go, there it goes. Get underneath it. So I'm free and clear with the fifth wheel. I get to about three quarters just so it's about just over the uh, the inner mud flap, inner mud guard. Lift the trailer up. I see it lifting now, there you go. So you're nice and clear and you know your legs are free. 
Bon, sep. Nice and gently. Job done. Tug test. One, two. Out of gear, handbrake on. And that's it. That's how we do it. Simple as that. And then obviously then it's just put your airlines on, electrical lines, legs up, brakes off. Bob's your uncle. So there we go. Right, let's go and finish doing this. Get this back down to the ad, crawl under and get my number plate. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you in a bit. Toodles. Okay, right, I may have to move in a minute. I don't know what this pallet line guy is doing. the other end I think. Right, uh, drag and drop. Here we go. Right, we are now up to 3,597 pounds. Almost 3,600 plus 135 which will be uh, 3,600 or oh, 3,733 pound. Wow, or 32 pounds is it? 32 pounds. <sighs> That's amazing. Thank you, guys. Uh, right, we have got uh, one day ago Lee Ben Goff, uh, local lad, and how much uh, this cause means to Martin. So this donation is in sort is, is sort of my wedding gift to him and Claire, and also in his sister Samantha's memory. Thank you, Lee. Very much appreciated. Well done, Team Ferryman. Lee from Bargoid. Thank you very much, Lee. He's given ten pound. Excellent. Thank you, buddy. Uh, Andrew, that's all I've got. Good luck, Trucker Jenko and the Ferryman team and Claire. And can you please give a shout out to my granddad, Teddy, in Thailand, who has, hasn't been well and is on the mend and used to drive lorries. So, Teddy in Thailand, hope you, uh, you get better soon, mate. Two pound plus a 50 pence gift aid. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, mate. Uh, David Roger Binney, keep up the good work. 20 pound. Thank you, mate. Very much appreciated. Uh, Darren Stokes, good luck to everyone taking part. Looking forward to meeting you all when I joined Ferryman. Uh, oh yes, Darren is starting with us. Yes, excellent. Twenty pounds plus a five pound lift date. I think he's. I don't know whether he's, I think he's starting on Monday. I think. So it'd be good to meet you, there. Come over and say hello, mate. Much appreciated. Adrian Dickinson met you at the Truck Fest for about the third or fourth time. I've met you. It's good to catch up with you, mate. Uh, he's given ten pound. Keep up the great work. He says. Thank you, Aid. Very much appreciated, mate. Uh, Mo Edwards. Uh, wish I could give more, but being a vet and struggling with Parkinson's. Uh, wish you all the very best. It may be a small contribution, but every little helps. Twenty pound, Mo. It couldn't. It wouldn't matter if it was fifty pence, mate. It was. It's the thought that counts, and it's all. It all adds up. Thank you, Mo. I do appreciate it. Uh, the Smith family, Janko. Can you please give a shout out to our sister Gail, who has been diagnosed with uh, the dreaded C in her bowel. Oh. Uh, keep up the great vlogs, pal. From the Smith family in Manchester. Fifteen pound plus a three seventy five gift aid. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, <sighs> Yeah, I feel your pain. I do. I really do. Uh, Chris, all the best and great cause. Keep up the good work, uh, Jenkins and the team and Ferryman. Uh, £57. Thank you, Chris. That is very, very much appreciated. That's why it's gone up so much. And then it was 16 days ago. Mark Yeomans, I've already read that one out. Uh, good luck. Keep up the good work. Uh, Ex-colleague of mine, Mark Yeomans, £10 plus 250 Thank you, Mark. Uh, thank you, guys. And for everyone that came over, I don't know all your names that came up to me in um truck fest but thank you guys um if you came over and said hello if you came over and gave a donation to and said hello at the same time it was great to meet you all it really really was i thoroughly enjoyed my weekend claire enjoyed it she enjoyed meeting everyone um and the donations just keep coming in uh what can i say guys it it's brilliant you know over three, nearly 3,600, and there's another 135 to go into that. So that's, uh, you know, 3,732 pound. Wow. 3,700 pound. And it's all for a worthy cause. Ten of us cancer. And uh, that's why I'm chucking myself off the side of a cliff on Sunday for. <laughs> but it's, it's all in aid of a good cause. Um, and as you all know, my sister passed away last year uh, in December of, uh, of the dreaded cancer. And, uh, yeah... There's so many families out there that will get a lot out of what you're donating. You know, people for support, help, 
Um, it's just amazing what you guys have done and uh, I can't thank you enough. I really can't. Um, hopefully after the drag and drop, uh, there may be something else in the pipeline. I saw something about a zip line one. I don't know whether we're doing that or not. Uh, I, I've just seen the 10 of us are gonna be doing something like that. Uh, but uh, I just hope you guys don't think it's me begging. Um, I'm trying to raise awareness for, the, for a good cause, a good charity. Uh, and there are a lot of people out there suffering with cancer and uh, every little helps. It really, really does. Doesn't matter whether it's 50p, a pound, 10 pound, 100 pound, whatever you can afford. If you still can, the link will be in the description, guys. And uh, just click on that. Uh, make your donation, leave a little message, and I will continue reading them out. Um, it doesn't have to stop from Sunday. I know we're doing the drag and drop on Sunday, but the donations don't have to stop coming in from there. Uh, we're going to keep the, 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 the GoFundMe page going for a bit after the drag and drop. Um, so if you can, um, then please just donate what you can. Um, it means a lot to myself. It means a lot to the, uh, you know, a load of the boys that, uh, that work at Ferryman, the directors, Kath, um, Alice, um, it, it means the world to them as well. It's, ten of us have been, um, well, Ferryman have been a long supporter of ten of us, and um, yeah, it, we're making a big difference. We are making a difference, guys. So I can't say thank you enough. I really can't, and uh, yeah, it means the world. Samantha will be looking down on me, and all of you, and saying thank you. So yeah, thank you, guys. Do appreciate it. Right on that note, I am going to call it a day on the vlog. I uh, don't know what else I'm doing. And, um, yeah, I'm going to call it a day. I think I'm only going to be locals on other, other things today than this afternoon. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed it. I enjoy making them for you. And, again, thank you for everyone who's made a donation. It is very, very much appreciated. Uh, so whatever you're doing, guys, be safe, be good, and I'll most definitely catch you in the next one. Toodles.